Happy Mother's Day. I hope you're having a great day. If you're not close to your mother and if she is alive, why not just uh, forgive her and give her a call and thank her for having you. And uh, I want to give honor to the daddies out there that are uh, doing the mommy duties. Um, your children are so blessed to have you in their life. Uh, continue to make wonderful memories and and cherish the moments that you have with them because they do grow up rather quickly. And if you need help with anything, um, there's plenty of help out there on uh, the YouTube videos that will, um, for instance, if you have a, a daughter and she's got long hair, they got a video out there where it teaches you how to uh, do different things with their hair and it shows you step by step and they even have classes uh, for uh, fathers to go there and, and learn it. So um, all you fathers out there, thank you for um, taking care of your children. Um, I'm sorry that uh, you don't have uh, the spouse with you to help raise them, but they do have you and that's, that is um, a big step right there because uh, you are able to mold them into the uh, adult that they need to be. Uh, hopefully, they need to be. I always um, believe that children should have the foundation of the church that uh, teaches the Holy Bible. That way, if they stray, they can always come back um, at a later time. Everybody seems to, well, not everybody, but most people seems to... Um, do something with their life that isn't um, having uh, God in their life. Uh, they want to do their own thing. They want to experience life. I did the same thing, but I came back to the Lord. But I came back to the Lord at the age of 55. And a lot of people um, don't have that, um, that privilege or that grace or that mercy. Um, so it's, it's best to raise them in the ways of the Lord. So if they do depart from it, they'll find their way back. And again, fathers, thank you so much. Mothers, thank you so much. And happy Mother's Day to all of you. God bless you. Bye-bye.